Okay, I just finished the print and I uh, sort of jury rigged this badge to this um, version of the, the clutch that I rigged up to hold a rubber band. I couldn't get that through there, so I just cut a hole with some of the flush cutters in there. And I actually haven't tested a spool with it yet, so we'll actually see this will be the first time. So let's just pretend we're, you know, feeding the spool like we normally would. It's got a long, very long cord, so we should start hearing the clutch kick in. There we go. Okay, so the clutch is doing its job. Let's see if it auto rewinds. Oh yeah, and that is a lot of auto rewind. Wow. <laughs> Awesome, that works great. So now what I gotta do is um, make a version of this that will hold a generic badge holder, you know, that you can just put it through the side. And then a version of the clutch mechanism that takes that little, um, that, you know, it's similar, but will keep it a little bit more out of the way somehow, probably. I'll probably just make this wider, the inside part, because there's a lot of space here that doesn't need to be there. And I'll just have that come out further. So yeah, that works amazingly well. Wow. You can see it's doing its thing with the clutch. And then when you unload... <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. Now the real question is, will that work with the Airsoft uh, pellet bearings? And I'm guessing the answer is... Uh, no, because <laughs> you need as little resistance as possible. This thing is not that strong. Awesome.